the government does a very thorough job of regulating some industries, such as cell phones, airlines, uh, that type of thing. But for some reason, the music industry has not experienced the same scrutiny. From a legal standpoint, it's it's very perplexing because some of the same legal issues are involved. But when you have iTunes and three major labels controlling the industry, if it were a different industry, the government has provided a great deal more scrutiny. Well, in my opinion, if it doesn't violate the antitrust laws, it sure comes very close to the edge. I mean, I, I have not studied this thoroughly so that I could say for sure that it does, but it looks like it. The music industry has a rather lengthy history of dealing with issues that are either illegal or uh, are being closely aligned with illegal activities. Uh, for instance, the payola scandal. And then after that, several people in organized crime had very close links with the music industry. The music industry has a very powerful lobby. Are these all factors that can enter into why they've been left relatively untouched when other industries have been regulated? Quite probably. That's certainly a distinct possibility. I think it makes the music industry different, but not from a legal perspective in terms of enforcing antitrust or uh, taking legal action to not permit monopolies. Is it different? Yes. Different issues with supply, demand, with the internet but it doesn't create an immunity. The internet may require a reevaluation re of how certain things are handled and regulated, but I don't think that's an excuse for scrapping what we have until there is such an, an intelligent reevaluation and appropriate action taken based on a thorough evaluation. Um, do you want to talk a little bit about the music industry and what they're doing in the Sherman Antitrust Act? No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. You said to give short answers, Oscar. <laughs> we talked about this. We said yes, no. I, I did, that was so funny. I mean, you, really, you did so perfect. I thought, well, we're here. We've got all the lights on you and stuff. I mean, do you have any feelings about that? Is that he looks a little lighter there than he does on here? Is that going to be good? You think? Yeah. No, you don't want him really bright. Okay. You know, in fact, because you don't want oh, shiny yeah, spots not. on his face. <laughs> this 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 has a lot of autocorrect on it, so it almost looks like he's made up. It's taking the glare off his glasses already. I was yeah. Ask about the glare. Yeah. He's just got a rosy Scottish complexion. Yeah. Did you do you think the glasses need sorry. to come off, Jeff? I don't know. I mean, do you, don't you see that? Yeah. Let's let's go ahead and take the glasses off. Yeah. I think that's it. Yeah, I see that yeah. better. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, that looks yeah. good. Okay. Yeah. All right, Henry, you ready to go? Now, if you ask me these questions, can they be edited out? Oh, yeah. No, okay. no, no. I'm going to talk, and then I'll pause, and okay. then you wait 1,000 and go. Okay. And this and you, is it. Sorry, you can even keep your focal point on, focal point on Oscar. A right good there. rule of thumb, Hank, is to look at me like 50% of the time, and then look over at Jennifer, look at the camera a little bit. Look, Don't look at one place all the time. That's the... That's the worst thing. You just look look at me a little bit. Look at everything. Just you know. Okay. Look at Jennifer. Oh, she's <laughs> infinitely better looking than me. Not Tim though. Tim's very cute. All right, here we go. Why? Okay. Why was the AT&T and T-Mobile merger disallowed due to the threat of less competition when the music industry cabal is allowed that allows little to no competition at all? Well, it's a good question. The uh... Hank, sorry. Uh, Cole's going to be saying this. Now Hank will talk about, I mean, it's going to be weird. He's going to be in a different place than you're going to come in. 
So don't. So, so he's not going to be asking that. Question. He'll be asking it, but it'll be on a remote thing. Now we'll have attorney Henry Griffin of Flink Griffin and Watson talk about the T-Mobile, Mobile, and AT&T merger. Why that was disallowed? When here we have the iTunes 99 cent price fixing go on unabated. Hank will now talk about why this is going to be. And okay. you can so the reason why the the eight blah blah blah. The reason is you know just okay. head, head on in. Okay, let's do it again. Why was the ATT and T-Mobile merger not allowed due to the threat of less competition when the music industry cartel is allowed that basically allows no competition whatsoever? The government does a very thorough job of regulating some industries such as cell phones, airlines, uh, that type of thing, but for some reason the music industry has not experienced the same scrutiny. That was great. That was good. That was really good. That was good. Um, yeah, that was good. Okay, good. That was fantastic. Okay, the DOJ, the Department of Justice, has targeted Amazon.com and well, Apple. Do we want to go ahead with some of the rest of this prior? To yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Did you? Did I mean there was some stuff? You, did how much? No, I I just basically did the first part of that. Oh, okay. Do I need to ask you another question? No, you don't need to ask. Oh, okay. Question. Fire away, Hank. Uh, From a legal standpoint, it's it's very perplexing because some of the same legal issues are involved. But when you have iTunes and three major labels controlling the industry, if it were a different industry, the government has provided a great deal more scrutiny. That's great. Okay, this isn't on the thing, but you can just wing it. Um, do you want to talk a little bit about the music industry and what they're doing in the Sherman Antitrust Act? No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you said you give short answers, Oscar. <laughs> I just we talked thought, about this. We said yes, no. I, I thought that was so funny. I mean, you really you did so perfect. I thought, well, we're here. We've got all the lights on you and stuff. I mean, do you have any feelings about that? Okay, would you repeat the question? Yeah, I mean, you know about the Sherman Antitrust Act, which yes. I think has stopped uh, collusion between major industries before, and yet the music industry with uh, Warner Brothers Universal and um, Warner Brothers Universal. Sony. So See, he's, he's good. Sorry. He's he's good. He's and Sony um, have a cartel where they work with iTunes and and set whatever price they feel they want to set. And doesn't that violate Sherman Antitrust Act issues? Well, in my opinion, if it doesn't violate the antitrust laws, it sure comes very close to the edge. I mean, I I have not studied this thoroughly so that I could say for sure that it does, but it looks like. It. Okay, fantastic. That was good. That was good. Do you want to uh, stop this and go over it and make sure everything's okay before we pull up Shaw? Are we uh, done? Uh, well, I wanted, I only wanted him to do two questions, and he did them, because there were four last time, and the thing went on with Lori forever. Okay. So I thought it, it would be... No, we can uh, check I mean, it. I, I thought... I can, I can throw a little bit more in. Yeah, you want to throw a little more yeah. ju juice in? Yeah, just... It, it's better to have more than less. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you read uh, Hitman by Frederick Dannon. Correct. And, um, and what did you deduce from that book as far as might have set the stage? Before you talked about actually uh, illegal crimes with the illegal payola thing. Um, well, the music industry has a rather lengthy history of dealing with issues that are either illegal or uh, are being closely aligned with illegal activities. Uh, for instance, the payola scandal. And then after that, several people in organized crime had very close links with the music industry. The music industry has a very powerful lobby. Are these all factors that can enter into why they've been left relatively untouched when other industries have been regulated? Quite probably. I mean, that's certainly a distinct possibility. Excellent, excellent. Okay, there's one other thing. I think Lori, we're get, getting everything that you and Lori talked about. Uh, there's one more question that she asked you that you haven't addressed. Why don't you? She said, with the internet, it makes, I mean, we have a free market economy. And the free market economy dictates that 
uh, the price of products, Hank, goes up and down based on supply, demand, and competition between the players. Okay, and you addressed this before. The internet makes supply issues go away. There will never be another shortage of anything that can be distributed digitally. Do you think that makes a, a whole different way of looking at the music industry based on the fact there will never be supply issues anymore? I think it makes the music industry different, but not from a legal perspective in terms of enforcing antitrust or uh, taking legal action to not permit monopolies. Is it different? Yes. Different issues with supply, demand, with the internet, but it doesn't create an immunity. Okay, did you understand that? Yeah, different different issues, but in other words, they're almost getting a pass. It's basically, it doesn't create an immunity, is what he's saying. It's not... Do you, do you think that with the internet making supply, uh, endless supply available, that we should restructure how the free market economy works with internet products? In the fact there's no supply problems? Should, should we re-evaluate re how if the market economy works with internet products, Hank? The internet may require a re-evaluation re of how certain things are handled and regulated, but I don't think that's an excuse for scrapping what we have until there is such an an intelligent reevaluation and appropriate action taken based on a thorough evaluation. Okay, that's that was that's good. good. Yeah. Well, and, and, it, and it speaks to the point where you and I talked about before. I think that's what Payola did: is it came out and put a blanket law in, not not caring about the ripple effects. Yeah. And what Hank's saying is, we can't do that again. Scrap everything and put a new law in that's right. Again, going to put these ripples all over and doesn't apply to something that comes. We up need in to 10 do years. a clear reevaluation yeah, of yeah, it. Clear re okay, I think Henry gets an A. You were just great. Well, uh, definitely a B plus or A minus. I thought that was really good. Well, I said A, and he looked like he wasn't unhappy with my A grade. A so plus. Oh, A plus. <laughs> sorry, teacher. Downgraded to a B real quick. I'm sorry. I said A. I thought you wanted me to go down, not up. I'm sorry. A plus, Henry. So, do, is there anything else? Um, I think you, you did great. Should, should we run it? And I think you're stop.